Uh, hi guys, it's Burnt Team Tifrica, and today I am uh, doing some more advanced slash summon skills. Pardon the mobs running around. Um, like, we want to be there. Wait, what? Right. Wait, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, anyway. Uh, yeah, so uh, I did do a slash summon uh, video the other day, uh, but that was just about mobs I think I did about. Um, and that's all I knew how to do then, but now I've got a new. I went on a website and found out, and I didn't know there was loads more. So, literally, first of all, I will go over the first one, which is. Um, spawning a, a mob riding a mob now these are pretty easy to do I think I've got the command still set in here somewhere um, there we go so I can do this one there he is a villager riding a pig which um, different it's different uh, I could do let's take a look at this so I could change this to a um a gas they don't like him. Yeah, that was cool. Oh right, he's now uh, Yes. Um I could I don't know, I'm just I'm just thinking of a mob to ride it. I could have a zombie. No, I could have a yeah, that's be better. I could have a giant riding a ghast and that works for a lot of mobs this was this does work for a lot of mobs let me just get out of there um, you can just kill this mob because it's very annoying to have mobs around here there we go so I'm just going to fix this time set day thing there we go I fixed it so that was yeah. So that was this, that was the mob riding a mob. Now you can spawn them at different coordinates. Um, I could spawn it where you could do it where you spawned. You could do it where you uh, you could do it if you could, you could if you found out where your friend was. You could uh, spawn some on your friend, which I think would be pretty funny because you know I have a friend who I won't mention the name of, which I could spawn one on. Anyway, I'll go on to the second thing now because that, that thing you can do a lot of things with this. Um, I'll, there'll be a, a, a link in the description to the website where I got some of these ideas from. Um, sick of mobs here. Um, and this website has a lot of different things that you can do custom portions, but I haven't learned, I haven't learned, I haven't learned to do them yet. So this one is getting someone else's uh, playhead. Now I'm just going to put this over here in case I get rid of it. So literally. All you do is, um, let's find what I was at before. There you go. So you, it's this, this is actually more of the slash give command. You can use the slash summon command for this, but I think the slash give command works a bit better. So um, I'm not sure why the one, the three nine seven space one step space three is there, but I, just in case I think, just in case I'd put that there anyway, um, and then. After the skull owner, you can put any skull you want, but make sure it's got all the capitals in it. So I'm gonna do you and I don't think it's got capitals in it. Um, so yep. So there's you and's head, and uh, you can still open chest through heads if you didn't know that by the way. Uh, you can place it on the chest. Uh, yeah, and I can do that for any character in the whole of Minecraft. I could, I could do. Uh, let's think of someone I know. Oh yeah, if you're watching this zombie force, no hard feelings. A guy for server, by the way, if you're wondering. Yep, that's his skin at the moment. Um, as you see, you can do notches, and there's mine, as you can see. Uh, there's there's mine. Um, yes, that that's just a cool thing you can do. And linked to that is this. I don't know why I ended up by the way. So you can summon a mob with a player's head on it. So I'm just going to find the command I had there for that because that is this is quite a long command as you can see. Now the bit you're probably interested in is this bit right at the end here. As you can see, it's moving. Now I have to put someone's uh, player name in there, so I'm going to put my own in there. 
Now all now these the bit where the dashes are where the them squiggly lines are, are is the coord you can spawn it. You can summon I think it's only pigmen, skeleton and zombies who can actually have the heads on when you spawn them, as I tried yesterday and some some of them didn't work. Now you can spawn it with equipment. Uh, I don't know how to do that at the moment. I'm learning all these things still. Uh, you can see the damage it already has on it. I think that's what it is. You have to have the ID tag. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then the skull on a thing. So there's mine. So I spawn a skeleton with my skull on. And uh, that's pretty freaky. Uh, yeah, it's pretty freaky. My own head following around the, ro the world. I can do that with uh, zombies, I think. Let me see if my predictions are correct. Um, uh, make sure all your mobs have a capital letter. There you go. That looks a bit better. Um, and you can do this for any. Um, and you can do this for any player. So I'll do Ewan's again. There you go. <laughs> That's you and every time I kill him. Anyway. So, that's that. That one's pretty cool. That'd be, that'd be really good for adventure maps, I think. And this one is the fireballs. And the fireballs are... Uh, complicated. I think it'd be better not looking off the YouTube for me, but looking off the website. Now, let's find that. It's very tricky. So what you can do is for the fireball my direction here is 1.1.1 and my power is 1 which means it's going to do um, 2 by 2 blocks I can I can make this uh, 5 and then if I spawn it there it will spawn in midair sorry right it has to be uh, 1.0.0 otherwise it won't work so oops. so now it should probably spawn in the air probably somewhere is that actually moving? it is anyway and once you hit this it will make an explosion like a gas would there we go again and you can make them as big as you want the power I'm pretty sure you can I'm gonna say power 10 now you have to find the fireball because they do happen to spawn in random places there it is they will spawn near you if I hit that whoa that is epic so you can really do some damage with this thing uh, and I think that's pretty epic and uh, yeah well <coughs> well well thanks for watching guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, and I found it helpful the website is this website so if it looks like this to you forget the ads on the side if it looks like this to you then you've got the right thing uh, it's minecraft forums, I'll put the link in the description thanks for watching guys, bye